2021 was the deadliest year for illicit drug overdoses in BC, with more than 2,200 British Columbians dying from suspected overdoses. In 2020, Kathleen Radu lost her son Morgan to a drug overdose, and she's now pushing for the House of Commons to get behind a new private member's bill. It will decriminalize the possession of drugs for personal use. And Kathleen is joining us from the Victoria this morning. What morning? Welcome back to your morning. Hi, Anne Marie. Thank you for having me. Before we get started, I want to ask how you and your family are doing today. Well, um, I was just saying to somebody the other day that uh, this roller coaster of grief is pretty insane sometimes. And, uh, you know, we're doing the best that we can. And, uh, you know, sharing our story, um, I believe, is making a difference. And I think it's what Morgan would want us to do. So that gives me a lot of strength. Mm -hmm. Kathleen, there might be people wondering how a bill to decriminalize personal drug use would help deal with some of the shame and the stigma that can lead to some of these overdoses. Can you explain that for us? Yeah, you bet. One of the things that, that happens with drug use um, and people who struggle with substance use disorder is that, you know, obviously they have their, their supply. And what happens is if, um, you know, a, a police officer comes, they, they take their, their personal use drugs and they take their paraphernalia. And what that does is it just re-victimizes, again, the person who is struggling with substance use disorder. And so they go out and again, it's basically perpetuating more of the same. So what decriminalization will do is it will stop that from happening. Um, it will allow them to um, you know, have more access. When Once some, somebody is criminalized, obviously there's so many things that change, whether that's employment down the road or all of those types of things. We want this to be treated as a health crisis, not as a criminal issue. Um, and that's really what this bill, um, C216, is really focused on. Um, and it's going to be tabled in May, and it's a really, really important piece of legislation that will change the way that people look at drug use. Um, you know, it isn't, it isn't, a, it's not a moral failure. Our loved ones aren't dying from addiction. They're dying from poison drugs by organized crime so that they can maximize their profits. And this is one way that this will negate that, it will stop that. And if we have that with safe supply and wraparound supports and access to treatment, um, we can start to dismantle the shame and the stigma that is so heavenly clouded uh, this addiction that people struggle with. You know, we've been watching, yeah, we've been watching since uh, January of this year. I mean, just the, the health uh, officials in the province of BC echoing what you're saying, which is this is a crisis. This is parallel to what we're dealing with in COVID, and we need an immediate and a strong response from the government. You're a member of Moms Stop the Harm. This supports uh, this motion to decriminalize people who use drugs. Can you tell me about what you're working with? Yeah, so Mom Stop the Harm is a, a group where families um, come together. It was started by a group of moms who, who'd lost their children through uh, an overdose. And um, it's really, it has lots of parts to it. So we have a Holding Hope group, which is for families whose parents, uh, kids are struggling with active addiction. And then we also have a lot of other resources for people like myself who have lost a child uh, to an overdose. So um, with Mom Stop the Harm, we do, you know, we do a lot of advocacy. We're out there trying to share our stories because we really believe that when we share our stories openly, the thing that a lot of people don't realize is that this is, you know, when, when somebody struggles with addiction, this isn't just, you know, people that, um, you know, are homeless or live on the streets. That is such an important part of people that do struggle mm -hmm. with it. But it's also people like us, just people from normal families, recreational users that are using, that are dying from these toxic drugs. And we've never seen I mean, 20 people a day in Canada are dying. And we've seen the government mobilize so quickly with the health crisis that we saw with COVID. And Justin Trudeau mm -hmm. has called this a health crisis and we need him to mobilize. We need all levels of government to come together. And so what Mom Stop the Heart is doing is, oh yeah, sorry. Sorry, I, we're going to have to leave our conversation there, but uh, we're going to put on our social media channels how people can help support this bill as well and okay. the work that you're doing. And like you said, take strong action against a crisis that is affecting our country 
right now. Thanks so much for joining us again. Thanks, Emery. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.